Hello, welcome to Maths on Thursday, the 4th of February 2021. Good morning, Cherry Tree. Good morning, Miss Stevenson and Mrs. Howes and Miss Weil and Mrs. Gonzalez. Good morning, everyone. I hope we're all very well today. Let's jump straight into our amazing maths. Today we are going to carry on making and comparing two digit numbers. Now you were fantastic at this yesterday and I loved seeing your crocodiles. Remember if you want to draw those teeth that's absolutely fine as long as we can see what the symbol is. Um, let's go start first of all with some counting. Now I cannot remember now, I've done so many videos, I cannot remember if I've shown you this or not so I'm just going to assume that I've not. Um, we are very lucky human bodies because we have got four fingers and a thumb on each hand. Four and one equal five. All together we've got ten digits. That makes it quite easy for us to count in tens and in fives. I've got here a picture of some fives so we can count in our fives. Let's go. Zero, five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh, I've got some cups of tea here. 55, sorry, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. If I kept going, would I ever get to 105? Yes, I would. Look, they all end in either fives or t's, zeros. If I kept going, would I ever get to 215? Good job. If I kept going, would I ever get to 590? Yes, I would. Oh, I wonder how high up you can guess that these numbers would go. It's forever. Maths is so cool. Let's look at our vocabulary today. Our key vocabulary is still again, tens, ones, digit, represent, count, more than, less than, and equals. And do watch the crocodile video because I think it's really quite helpful to learn about what these symbols mean. So here are our crocodiles, greater than and less than. And as I said before, I don't think it really matters if you get confused about which is which, as long as you understand that the crocodile always wants to eat the biggest number. So if I had four and I had six, which of these numbers would the crocodile want to eat, the four or the six? Yeah, the six, because six is, I'm just gonna skip here, let's get these, because they're great. Six is more than four. And because six is more than four, the crocodile would want to eat the six, fantastic. That means that four is less than six. Do another one. What about if I kept my six there, but I had a seven here? Hmm, which symbol would I put here? Which number would the crocodile want to eat? Which number is greater than the other? The seven. Seven is more than six. Seven is greater than six. Great job, everybody. Let's try another one. Let's pretend I move my seven and my six. Let's try 10 here. Ooh, and let's try thirteen. So we've got 10 and we've got 10, 11, 12, 13. 10 and 13. Now the crocodile's hungry. Which one is he going to want to eat more? 13. That means that 10 is less than 13. Really good maths, everybody. This is what you are doing today. You're going to do the same thing we did yesterday, but everything's just a little bit trickier. 
As you know, our objective today is to make and compare two digit numbers. You're going to read and make two digit numbers and say which one is bigger. That's the blue level of challenge. Moving on to the purple, I want you to use the more than and less than symbols. Have a go at that. Can you also use, if you're on the red level of challenge, the equal symbols? And I've made totals for you to figure out there. And the orange level is again to create your own more than, less than and equals statements. Let's have a go at this one. So I'm actually, I can't remember if I've changed this. I have, we've got 21, 24 and 17. Right, so first we need to make our numbers. I've been thrilled, as you know, at the different ways you've chosen to represent your numbers. We've had crayons, we've had pots of things, we've had um, beans, pistachio nuts, uh, all different kinds of ways of doing it. And I just think you're wonderful. Lots of sweeties as well, that was fantastic. Toys, let's make 21. I'm going to use Dean's to make it really clear for you. You can use anything you like to make your numbers. So 21, how many tens has that got? Two, one, two. We know how to do this now, don't we? How many ones is there? One. Let's make the next number. 24. If you're not sure how to read that yet, that's partly why we're learning how to make them. How many tens? Two tens. How many ones? Four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Oh, I can already see which of these is bigger and which is smaller. Now let's make the last number 17. One ten. How many ones? Seven ones. Oh, that's lots. Oh, gosh, no, I don't want that. That's another 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. And as people who know what I'm talking about will say, seven. Excellent. So we've got 21, two tens, and one one. 21 is two tens and one one. 24 is two tens and four ones. 17 is one ten and seven ones. Oh, so I can see now which one is bigger than the other. Let's start here. Which is the crocodile going to want to eat? 21 or 24? 24 is definitely bigger. So he's going to want to eat that. 21 is less than 24. Great job. Now we've got 24 and 17. A bit confusing because 17 has got so many ones, but it hasn't got as many tens as 24. Right, okay, I know. The crocodile would want to eat 24, he's hungry. And I can say the sentence, 24 is greater than, is more than 17. Great maths, everyone. That is roughly the blue level of challenge today. We've got, ooh, <laughs> that's not very helpful, is it? Here we go. The blue level of challenge, you've got numbers going up just above 30 today. I wanted to push you, see how you get on with that. First, make the numbers however you want to represent them. Then draw in the more than, less than symbols. Remember, the crocodile is going to want to eat the biggest number, the greatest number. Purple of level of challenge today. You've got some trickier numbers here. See how you get on. Be careful to think, because I've tried to trick you carefully about the number of tens and ones in each number. The red level of challenge today, again, you're going to be making, working out what the answer is. Some of these might be equals. 43 plus two, can you make that? What does it equal? Work it out here. I'm not gonna say anything else about these. 
orange level of challenge. I can't wait to see what you come up with. I am so thrilled with the maths we've been doing this week. I'm really proud. I think it's been fun. I think you've been so creative and I'm really proud of you. Have fun today, everyone. Good job, mathematicians.